For years, SpaceX has been more or less dependent on NASA and other commercial customers for funding, whether that be for research and development or rocket launches. Over the past year though, the financial situation of SpaceX as well as Elon Musk has radically changed. Elon Musk's personal wealth boomed from $24.6 billion in April of 2020 to $151 billion in April of 2021. Meanwhile, SpaceX was finally able to complete their first and second successful crewed missions to the ISS, which bolstered their reputation amongst the private investor community. So, where exactly does SpaceX get their money from today? Well, starting off, let's take a look at the OG customer for SpaceX, which is of course, NASA. NASA has bought billions of dollars worth of contracts over the past decade from SpaceX. And, at this point, the number of contracts NASA has made with SpaceX is too many to go through individually. But, we can take a look at the most significant contracts NASA has with SpaceX and how much total money NASA gives SpaceX annually. First up, we have the Crew Dragon. This project started off with NASA funding research and development for a crewed capsule. SpaceX and Boeing had a bit of a fight to see who would reach ISS first. And, last year, SpaceX was able to claim this title with Demo 2. Demo 2 was just a demonstration mission though, as the name suggests, and the real Crew Dragon mission started up in November of 2020 with the Crew 1. NASA has a total of 6 crew missions planned, and these are expected to stretch out till the end of 2023. NASA expects to complete Crew 2 and Crew 3 by the end of this year. Crew 4 and 5 are expected to be completed next year, and Crew 6 is expected to take place in 2023. On the topic of ISS missions, SpaceX is still working with NASA to complete supply runs to the ISS as well. These missions are called CRS, which stands for Crew Resupply, and SpaceX has a handful of these coming up as well. They just completed CRS-21 in December of 2020. Looking forward, they have CRS-22, 23, and 24 scheduled for this year. CRS-25 and 26 are scheduled for 2022. By the time all of the Crew Dragon and CRS missions are completed, NASA should have their own rocket space launch system up and running. Also, they have several crew launches scheduled with Boeing Starliner capsule as long as they pass the orbital test flight. So, I'm not quite sure if NASA will contract SpaceX for ISS missions again. NASA is trying to make a return to the moon within the next couple of years, and so the ISS is not their focus right now. We may see another set of ISS Crew Dragon and CRS missions. But, I'm not sure if NASA will take it much further than that. This doesn't mean that NASA is done with SpaceX though. NASA does have a variety of other contracts with SpaceX like the Lunar Starship. In May of 2020, NASA awarded SpaceX $135 million to modify Starship into a crewed lunar lander. SpaceX will likely also continue to launch various satellites and complete smaller missions for NASA. But, how much money does SpaceX actually receive from NASA at the end of the day? Well, since NASA is a government organization, we get a full breakdown of how exactly they spend their money every quarter. If you go on to usaspending.gov, you can delve into each government organization and see a breakdown of their budget every quarter. Taking a look back at the fiscal year of 2020, you'll see that the top organization NASA's funding is not even a space company. Rather, the highest percentage of NASA's funding goes to the California Institute of Technology. This was followed up by Lockheed Martin who received a total of $2.8 billion and Jacobs Technology who received a little over $1 billion. After this, we have Boeing who received $897 million and SpaceX comes in at 5th place receiving $869 million. Shifting over to the fiscal year of 2021, we'll see a very similar breakdown in terms of funding. However, SpaceX is receiving a slightly larger proportion of the funding this year. So far in 2021, SpaceX has received 4.74% of NASA's total funding. Last year, they only received 3.44% of the total funding. This may be skewed as we're still relatively early in the year. So, we'll estimate in the middle and call it 4% of NASA's total funding by the end of this year. Considering that NASA's annual budget is about $25 billion, this gives SpaceX right about $1 billion. Anyways, another major customer for SpaceX is also a government organization which is of course the US Department of Defense. Now, the budget breakdown for the Department of Defense is more secretive for obvious reasons. They do give a breakdown as to what categories they spend the money in. However, they don't specify where exactly the money is spent in each category. For example, SpaceX falls under the Air Force Space Procurement category. But, if we navigate to this page on usaspending.gov, 
we really don't get much information. We see that they have spent $544 million on acquisition of assets and $70 million on contractual services and supplies, but that's really all we get. If we do a bit more digging and search for SpaceX specifically though, we are able to find an ongoing contract that SpaceX has with the Department of Defense. This contract started in March of 2018 and is expected to end in September of 2021, so about three and a half years. The total potential award for SpaceX is $445.1 million, out of which $251.4 million has already been paid out. SpaceX does still have about $200 million worth of potential payouts, but given that the majority of the contract time has already passed, I'm not sure if they'll end up maxing out their award amount. So, we'll base their annual revenue from the Air Force on the amount they have already received. If we spread $251.4 million over 3 years, we get approximately $83.8 .8 million per year from the DOD. Moving on, we have commercial customers that aren't US government organizations like SiriusXM Radio. At the end of 2020, SiriusXM worked with SpaceX to launch a satellite for their radio services. Similarly, the Korean Army worked with SpaceX in July of 2020, and we also saw a few rideshares with Planet Labs. But commercial customers that aren't US government organizations are by far the minority. We might see 4 or 5 such launches every year. We'll call it 4 per year to account for any rideshare missions that only bring in partial revenue. SpaceX charges $15 million per reused Falcon 9 launch. With 4 commercial launches per year, this brings in approximately $200 million for SpaceX annually. That covers basically all the contracts and commercial launches SpaceX conducts every year. Next up, we have funding from investor funding rounds. Many people think that since SpaceX is a private company that they don't have investors. But this is actually not true. SpaceX does have investors. In fact, they have a lot of investors. If you're an accredited investor, which basically means that you have over $1 million in assets not including the house you live in, then you can invest in SpaceX and other private companies too. SpaceX generally conducts two fundraising rounds every year. In 2020, this included a round in March and a round in August. The round in March raised $221.2 million, and the round in August raised a total of $1.9 billion. Just two months ago, SpaceX raised another $850 million, but that would count as 2021. So, it seems like SpaceX is raising about $2 billion every year at this point. That covers all of the main sources of funding for SpaceX today, but we do have a few more smaller sources here and there like the Dear Moon project. A Japanese billionaire is funding a private starship trip around the moon for himself and a couple of artists called the Dear Moon Project. The mission is expected to last 6 days and accommodate for 10 to 12 people. We don't know how much the trip is going to cost, but it's likely in the hundreds of millions. Similarly, Universal Pictures is trying to work with SpaceX to film a movie in space starring Tom Cruise. As SpaceX continues to prove the reliability and safety of their rockets, such major projects will likely only increase in frequency. To account for such projects as well as other miscellaneous sources of revenue, we'll add another $200 million onto SpaceX's annual funding. This adds up to a total of $3.48 billion in funding for SpaceX every year. In terms of a breakdown, about 28.7% of SpaceX's funding comes from NASA, 2.4% comes from the Air Force, 5.7% comes from other commercial customers, and another 5.7% comes from major projects as well as miscellaneous sources. Finally, the last 57.5% comes from the private investors of SpaceX. As you can see, the majority of the funding for SpaceX today actually comes from private investors as opposed to the government. If we add up the non-government portions and the government portions, we'll see that 68.9% of SpaceX's funding comes from private sources, and only 31.3% of SpaceX's funding comes from the government. This is obviously a radical shift from several years ago, where most of SpaceX's funding came from government contracts. But who even are these private investors? Well, though individual accredited investors can participate in funding rounds and purchase a stake in SpaceX, the vast majority of private investors in SpaceX today are institutional investors like hedge funds and other companies. This includes companies like Sequoia Capital, Google, Fidelity, Bank of America, and Bailey Gifford. Looking forward, the contributions from the private investor industry will likely only grow. Something else to consider is that SpaceX themselves will start to generate large amounts of profit with Starlink and commercial Starship trips. I didn't include these ventures in today's calculations as they're both still very early stage projects with little to no revenue. However, with time, these projects will likely start to generate funding for SpaceX as well. Elon Musk does not want to take SpaceX public till they have established consistent travel to Mars, so we probably won't see an IPO anytime soon.
We may see an IPO of the Starlink portion of their business though, which will get the public involved with SpaceX as well. And finally, as Tesla continues to grow and stabilize, Elon Musk will likely start to liquidate his Tesla stake to fund a potential Martian city or base or something like that. At the end of the day, SpaceX used to be heavily dependent on NASA and the government. But as they have proven their ability to innovate and advance, we have seen more and more private interest. And today, private investment actually accounts for the majority of SpaceX's funding. Did you guys realize that? Comment that down below. Also, drop a like if you guys would love to invest in SpaceX. And of course, consider joining our Discord community to suggest future video ideas, and consider subscribing to see more questions logically answered. But until then, I'm Hari, and I'll see you guys on the next one.